Hey guys, welcome to my video about the rear curtain. I've been talking about this for a while and uh, been meaning to do it. I just had so many little projects to finish and I'm finally here. So there's Matilda and as you know, I'm gonna do the rear curtain today. In talking to a bunch of people, I've uh, been told that <coughs> making a rear curtain out of uh, wood, fiberboard is uh, weird and let me remind you that the rear curtain and the roof originally on these things are made of canvas canvas you can cut right through them in like five seconds so i think a wood slash fiberglass rear curtain would be a vast improvement somewhere between the canvas and having a metal rear curtain and I don't really want to spend about two and a half thousand dollars on a rear curtain made of metal, even though those look really nice. So let's see if I can do it myself. And if I fail, I will go out and buy a rear curtain made of metal and spend two thousand dollars. So here's the truck looking pretty good from the last time you saw her uh, you'll notice I put both the jerry cans here toolbox got an extra carry box over here might be for a medical kit or something else and I got these amber lights rear lamps So here is the wood I got from Lowe's yesterday. It's called Blonde Ply. It's about a quarter inch thick and it's primed already and it's really smooth. So you know it won't show you that grainy wood finish if you paint on it. Uh, either ways I'll be putting Rhino liner and sealing it with fiberglass. Um, well sealing it with fiberglass first and then putting Rhino liner. And then maybe camo paint over that. Anyways, this is primed, ready for paint. It's quite smooth as you can see. And uh, in case you guys want to get it yourself, this actually came as a four foot by eight foot long piece, but it didn't really fit inside my SUV. So I had to cut it at lows, you know, into uh, two and a half by one and a half. And uh, I cut it at the seven foot mark too, so that uh, it would fit in my SUV. Anyways, here's the tag if you want to get it yourself from Lowe's. Oh, look at that, it's green certified. Good for the environment apparently. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put it up on the truck so I can um, take a marker and mark the shape on the wood so I can start cutting it to shape. After that, I will measure a spot for where uh, the glass goes in. And I do have a piece of glass that I will show you later on. Right, so here it is, very neatly traced. I took a black marker, a thick one, and ran it across the top of the C pillar and got the exact shape. The curve is very important. It doesn't matter that the sticker's there, I'll just peel it off. Now, uh, it's important to note that the C pillar from point to point is exactly seven feet. 
So that should help you uh, buy materials and stuff. So my next step is I'm gonna take a jigsaw, a handheld one, and try and get as clean a cut as possible. Let's hope I don't fuck it up. That went pretty well, I think. So I've cut the shape out. It was much easier than I thought. The blade just got through this like butter. Now I need to sand the edges with a Dremel. So what do you think? Looking pretty good so far, right? That's where the window goes in. That's the next step. This is actually the easiest part, cutting the shape out, laying it in there. Now comes the difficult part, which is the window installation and the fiberglass. I bought this glass online. It is about 10 inches by 36 inches. So that's just about three feet. And it's perfect for this rear window, the rear curtain, I mean, because I get two feet on either side and I get a couple of inches on the top and the bottom. It'll look really nice in there. I'm going to mount it dead center from all sides and I will be getting a weather stripping to put around the glass and I will insert it into a cutout. Once I do that, I'll be putting sort of a, a frame over it with um, small little screws, you know, shiny on the outside, so it looks like rivets. Time to do the fiberglass. So I have my fiberglass resin and a brush and a little pail and my hardener and fiberglass mat. Now this is really thick fiberglass mat if you can, uh, not sure if you can see but uh, it's quite thick. It's not the thin one that you get from uh, eBay. I got this from a good shop. Now this is 1.5 ounce chopped strand fiberglass mat. And it's quite thick. The good thing about it is once it cures with the fiberglass on it, it's going to be really, really reinforced and strong. So 
I think this is enough for the front and the rear. Let's get moving. So the fiberglassing is done, but only for one side, and it's still wet. So it's going to take a minimum of 24 hours to cure, and I can't do anything with it till then. So it is after sunset, so I'm shutting down for now, I'll come back to it later on. So the next step is fiberglassing the edges, just making sure that the plywood gets um, permeated perfectly with resin so that it's sealed nicely. And then I can do the other side. Now I'm wondering whether I should do the other side with cloth, but I don't think so. Maybe I'll just put fiberglass resin on that side and then, you know, spray paint over it because it's going to be on the inside. At this point, I am only half done and there's a lot more to come. So stay tuned for part two coming soon.